It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for Monday, the 28th of September. I'm Michael Groff. Temperatures to remain above average with dry conditions through the upcoming week. But as we head into the month of October, people starting to wonder when will we see an end to this triple digit heat? And what about some rain chances? Let's talk about it first. Yesterday in the valley, 102 degrees, the afternoon high, 76, the morning low. The normal high, 96, the normal low, 73. Outside now, here at this early hour of 5 a.m., clear sky out there. And we're sitting at 77 degrees at Sky Harbor, dew points at 39, relative humidity 26%. The winds are light and the barometer is steady. Temperatures out there this morning, how about 58, the cool spot at Fort McDowell, 61 at Goldfield, 68 at Chandler, Gilbert, and Granite Reef Dam. Otherwise, most spots around the metro are in the 70s to near 80. The upper air look, we've got a big trough diving southward into the Plain States. A surface boundary will bring the first taste of fall for some folks across the plains all the way down to the deep south and the Gulf Coast. And the back side of that front will even move into the desert southwest, moving across Arizona today and tonight, bringing some breezy conditions and ever so slightly cooler temperatures in here, as we'll discuss. The watch warning map, some wind advisories across parts of Texas and New Mexico and heat advisories for parts of California and Southwest Oregon, even some excessive heat watches there. Convective outlook for today, we've got a marginal risk of severe storms from just north of Mobile, Alabama, all the way up to Cleveland. And rainfall around here, valid through next Monday morning from the WPC, nothing in the valley, nothing statewide, really nothing region-wide as this pattern of persistence hangs on. And we'll detail it now as we get into modeling. Here we go, the GFS, the 06Z run, valid at 2 o'clock this afternoon. Big trough in the central and eastern part of the country, very cool conditions there. A ridge out here in the west means above average temperatures, but for us, down at the surface today, sunny skies, that backdoor cold front kind of moves into eastern Arizona this afternoon. And with it, some breezy conditions will start to pick up over the lower Colorado River Valley. Uh, some light breezes in here this afternoon as well. Highs 100 to 103. Tonight, clear and breezy. Those breezes may hold temperatures up a little bit. For now, we're going with lows in the 70s. But I expect a pretty wide range of temperatures overnight. Some of the wind sheltered areas will get down in the 60s. Some spots may be close to 80. And then tomorrow, sunny, breezy, slightly cooler, high temperatures 97 to 100. Then on Wednesday, we're still under the influence of high pressure overall. High temperatures upper 90s to about 102. Pretty much the same deal on Thursday and Friday, but with the drier air in here, we should really start to see the effects of those longer nights. So overnight lows will drop in the 60s for most of us, low 70s in the urban core. And then over the weekend, really things don't change very much. The ridge is going to start to weaken ever so slightly, but the core of which is still going to stay over the southwestern United States. So high temperatures will still be in the upper 90s to near 102 for Saturday and Sunday. Let's go out to a week from today. This is Monday, the 5th of October, a 588 ridge here across the southwest. That still looks warm and dry. High temperatures, mid-90s to about 100. And going out 10 days. This is Wednesday, the 7th, a little short wave approaching the northern California coast, a more potent wave just upstream behind it, a 585 ridge here across the southwest, and that's going to spell out dry and warm conditions to continue here. Let's look at precipitation off the European Ensemble. 51 members, almost all of them show nothing around here for the next couple of weeks, so we stay dry. And temperatures off the national blend of models, uh, highs somewhere between the upper 90s to about 104, basically for the next 10 days, although indications of somewhat lower temperatures way out there after about the first week of October. And that's going to do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video back here tomorrow morning. If you enjoy these videos, be sure to subscribe, like, share, and click that notification bell so that whenever a brand new video is posted, you'll get the notice. Your comments, questions, and suggestions always encouraged as well. I thank you so much for watching. Be safe, stay cool, and hydrated out there. Watch yourself and each other around the pool and have yourselves a wonderful Monday.